right. Hello. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody joining us on Instagram, for everybody joining us on YouTube. We just had an issue. We are issue. so glad that you're with us. We had to pause here and restart because... Hopefully everyone's coming on. Yeah, there we are. Hi, guys. Is, uh, Hi, Libby. Hi, Sierra. It says two others, so I don't know who the other two others are. Hello. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Mel. How we all doing? Hi, Natalie. Good to see Sakia. you all popping on. Hi, friends. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are we all doing? It is so good to be back with you guys in this way because um, last week we went live and we were We were visiting. out driving around. Yeah, we were visiting our, our graduates Grads. and yeah. we were doing the drive-by grad thing. That was fun. And then two weeks ago, um, we had Jamella do this. So it was good. Jamella did great. So yeah, yeah, we want to just wait here a few minutes while people are hopping on. Yeah, hi Techia. Hello, how is everybody doing? Go ahead and uh, hi, uh, let us know how you're doing. I hope your day is going well. We have a big announcement coming. Yes, a big announcement for Cutting Edge coming. Yes, we are. there's no baby Huber coming. Some people got confused and I knew that would happen. So we're going to keep sorry phrasing to it. Your, sorry to burst your bubble. We're going to keep phrasing it as a there's cutting a big edge cutting edge announcement. Amen. <laughs> The cutting edge. Youth Although it's good to know that whenever that does happen, you will all be very excited. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, hi, Pete. Hi, Donna. Hi, Hello. all. Hi, Dan. So, Pete, we're glad you're on with us. Yes. Um, we hope you are all doing well. We hope you are all enjoying the summer now that you are officially all done with school, which is so exciting. That's a big deal. And yeah, it's good. Um, I'm not, Mel's I'm not like ready extra. for the heat of summer, no. personally. Now. I know I'm, Mel is. Yes. Mel, I'm sure she doesn't mind me saying this. Mel is one of those people who, she doesn't just love summer. I mean, everyone loves summer, right? She adores the humidity portion of summer. Literally the humidity. God bless, but I don't understand it. And she knows she loves it. Hi, Sarah. Um, like Mel, hi, Melissa's soul is that of a Floridian. You know, yeah. just somebody straight from Florida. So there she goes. Hi, Asia. I believe it's Asia's birthday today. Asia, is it your birthday? Caleb, what's up? Hi, Miguel. Hey. Hi, Jeff. What's up, Jeffrey? Hola. Hola. Asia, I believe it is your birthday, or it was. Um, yes, Mel says <laughs> she wants to feel summer hugging you, but I feel the humidity is it's assaulting us. It's just wrong. So... <laughs> God, that's why, that's why I love um, the fall. That's right. And that's why she hates the fall. Gap's favorite it day. It was yesterday. Hi, Colette. Oh, Asia. Asia, this, this is, is your birthday song. It isn't very, very long. long. Hey, hey, is it anyone else's birthday that we missed? Because I feel like we haven't sung for a couple weeks. We haven't sung for a couple weeks. And no. if we did miss your birthday, I am so sorry. No, just tell us. We want to know. Yeah. We want to, yeah, we want to know all about it. Um... Oh, hi, Pat. Hi, Jake. Hi, Nat. Hi, Jeremy. What's up? Wow, I got all these people. So, super fun times. Fun, um, fun. Hi, Mon. How you doing? Fun, 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 fun. When I say Mon, I mean Monica. Not Ma. It's not Mom with an M, like my mother. M-O-N. I love my mother. She does not have Instagram. N as in Nancy. That's right. Um, I forgot you can't see me. No, we can't all see you. All the same, Jeffrey. We can't see Hello. you. We can't see you. You can see us. Hi, Jeffrey. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, hello, <laughs> Monica. <laughs> so, anywho, um, we have such great news for you guys. Yep, big And we're going to dive into it now. Um, but, you ready? But, yeah, here we go. The information we have for you, the exciting news, is Cutting Edge is going to be meeting next Wednesday in the church parking lot, July 1st. So, we hope that you together. will join us. We are going to be Outside. together. Here at well here there at the church parking lot. Not inside. Not inside. But outside. We're gonna be outside, Who's and we're excited? going to be we're gonna have a fire pit, and we're going to to celebrate, and we're gonna be excited that we're back together. And, and Jamella is gonna strum on the guitar a little. little strumming. And we're probably gonna play a game, which we don't always have a chance to do in the underground. And we're probably gonna roast some marshmallows, have a little devotional, hear how you guys are doing, pray. It's just gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. It's just gonna be good. It's all gonna be good. So we are really, really excited about it. And um, we just wanted to let you guys know that um, we are just so excited to see you. The leaders are excited to let you know. More details will come. So tonight we just wanted to tell you the, the good news and um, we're just so pumped about it. So with that good news, actually, we wanna remind you that, or we wanna let you know, 
that actually Pete McConnell is going to be joining us uh, on Wednesday as well. He said he's going to be able to be free. He'll be there. And if you, some of you don't know who Pete is, Pete is, um, we've, we have often, he's one of our leaders who was uh, here for a while and, and he um, stepped out to be part of other things and he is going to be joining back on, uh, with us. And uh, we referred to him as, as he's very much, if, if, you could, if you could describe Pete as anything, we often said he's like a stew. You know, a good stew. He's a good stew. We're like he just has everything that you need. You yeah. know, he's just one of those people that. So he was part of our team for quite some time, he and was. he really feels like he's supposed to be coming back in that regard. So he will be joining us next Wednesday, coming back on our team, and um, it's going to be wonderful. And if you don't know him, you're going to get to know him. He was a youth pastor for many, many years in his other church, and we're just honored to have him. And he's on tonight, which is lovely. So anyway, good news all around. Um, and we do have logistics coming for you as far as what yes. that looks like, social distancing wise and mask. Stay wise. tuned with our uh, Instagram, and yes, so we can give you because, all the information. Because we are doing what is being asked of us and we're still finding out what that is some things are changing um in a good way um so we will let you know that but whatever so, happens we're gonna be back together guys right that's we're gonna point. we're gonna do it we're gonna get back together right now but now what uh, we do want to say we do want to say that if for any reason at all that you or your parent is uncomfortable with that that is okay hear that guys how many times have we told you guys at cutting edge to honor your parents okay and that includes even if like it's not always easy right so if your parent or if you yourself for any reason just feel uncomfortable you want to wait a few more weeks that's, that's okay totally fine. yeah that's okay 100%. in fact if they ask that please honor that because guess what we love you we're not going anywhere that's right things will hopefully in jesus name just get better as we go here honor 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 that we just want to let you know what's happening and with that if you're in that place you're like i'm just not ready to come back or my parents not ready for me to come back that's okay yeah. we are going to go live every tuesday now just here in our living room so you're if you are, are not able to be there on site hey we're still doing this you just you just pop in on tuesdays on tuesdays and we might try to go live while we're in the parking lot as well but that'll yeah. be a little harder because we're going to be doing like multiple things you know what i mean yeah don't it won't be it won't look you know as professional as oh, yeah. we are oh here. yeah because this looks super professional <laughs> this is this is you know you won't be able to see our camera crew behind us and, <laughs> and by that i mean our fake plants yes <laughs> so just know that no one is pressured by any of this we just want to let you know what we are now allowed to do and the details of that will be coming your way um during the week so we're really excited and it will be outside for probably the majority of the summer just because that is the safer way and the safer option um at this time and that's what's just more allowed yeah and i'm excited about it because with the fire pit and just summertime I'm pumped, guys i'm pumped and so pumped the leaders are so excited we are so excited and and for real we miss you all so much i cannot wait yeah. to see your faces and to be with you remember that is next wednesday that is june 1st no uh july 1st <laughs> <laughs> what month are we in july 1st when we say it all welds together it all welds together by the way speaking of that did you know that for us this is actually day 99 of quarantine today yeah day and, 99 and that it's actually day 99 since the first wednesday night we went live with you guys like this can you believe that today this is covid chronicles number 15. 15 guys 15. it's been 106 days since our last time we met in the underground actually yeah. i believe that was baptisms were we not upstairs in the balcony yeah, sorry. Last time we were all together, we had that amazing missionary from Iraq with us. That's right. It wasn't baptisms. We were in, yes, Fabian had joined yes. us. Yes. And, oh, Donna asked a great question. What happens if it rains? That's the same question here, Donna. Yeah. Um, we're going to pray it doesn't rain. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to. I know that's not the best logistical answer, but. Mm -hmm. It's weather permitting right it's now. It's weather permitting. And if for any reason there is a storm, which a lot of times does happen in the summer. It is the summertime. We will kind of take that as it comes. Maybe we'll have to just yeah. go live that night. Stay posted from, on our like Instagram. This. So everyone, let's have a little uh, challenge here together. Everyone pray yes. for good weather every that's, Wednesday. Yes. It could rain Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we think that that's very <laughs> reasonable for the weather. I think it's you know? reasonable. We're just asking the weather to give us one, one, not even a day. We just need one evening. Well, we're asking you know? God, not the weather. I, yeah. We're asking the Lord to provide one evening worth of good weather. That's <laughs> just all we that need. if it rains, we get wet. That's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we used to, we did tur some turkey bowls in the rain and that was during like a cold month. That's um, true. Summer in the rain is not the worst thing. So, <laughs> um, Think about the water you'll save, you know, just by getting soaked in the rain. No, let's, let's pray that doesn't happen. Let's pray that doesn't happen. <laughs> so, listen, um, details coming your way, but we wanted to tell you, and um, 
with that, we have a challenge, right, babe? Yeah, that's um, right. Between now and next week. And even if you don't come live next week for whatever reason, um, we still want you to be a part of this challenge. Because yes. we're going to go live next Tuesday, and you can still be a part of this challenge when we go live In fact, let's Tuesday. make it, can we make it a Instagram challenge for those of you who are with us on Instagram? <laughs> wait, wait, Millie. Natalie's mom said, if it rains, you won't melt, and you don't have to shower that night. <laughs> All good news. All good news. That's a good. That's, that's a, a great perspective. That's it. I like that. I respect that. That's always, right. Always shower, guys. Always shower. When, <laughs> Whenever you can. I love you know? it. Whenever yeah. Bring soap. Good heavens. Okay, so it's not gonna rain, people. We have I've to been have there. a good yeah, Guys, I've, I've camped a lot in my life. I've, I've been there. I have not. I've been there. One time, um, we're rabbit trailing now. One time, our life group, um, actually, it wasn't my life. It was your life group. It was with my Sarah life group, Sarah and Pete. And Pete. We went camping, and I got to come along for the ride. And we went so, whitewater rafting. Yes. And, and so it, part of it, we camped the night before. Right, so me, Sarah, and Amy were sharing this tent, and I had never camped before, and that night it rained, and it was cold. And Sarah still loves camping, which is awesome, but Amy and I were like, never again. <laughs> so we haven't. <laughs> Listen, I've camped on mission trips. I've been on islands on mission trips with no electricity for a couple days. I can do it. Just not here... In the states, you just say not, not. When not when I'm to. trying to witness. Right. Yeah. When I'm witnessing the people, it's different. Yeah. On the missions field. That's right. All bring right. shampoo. Now they're bringing shampoo. Point no one's is, bringing shampoo. Point is, point, can you imagine just like we're just gonna have a soap and shampoo exchange? Oh, now Monica's you know I mean? saying, "Gab, I'm taking you camping." No, Mon, that's fine. Yes, Monica. We um, need to, and it needs to involve some kind of extreme exercise, like listen. jumping off of things or climbing things or you know, fun things. Because that always. <laughs> I was gonna say because that always goes well. But we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Y'all know the story. Story. All right. Okay. So, but our point is actually, I'd like to make this. Let's make this an Instagram challenge or, or a social media challenge, right? Um, what we'd like you guys to do is is to write a list, you know, um, of all the good things that you have had the freedom or the ability or the time to do since we've kind of been in quarantine, and we would love to see them. We'd love for you to bring them next Wednesday if you're comfortable get, uh, posting those. Uh, on your on social media and and tagging us uh, at CE Youth, we would love to see that because you know we we made a list recently of all the things that we have been able to accomplish in the past 99 days. And um, you know when this whole thing started, it was hard to think how could anything good come out of this. And yes. and um, you know we shared about this verse before, but I, I just want to come back to uh, this verse. Why do we want to do that? Because um, Philippians uh, four eight uh, is such a good verse. You know people have. People always talk about, oh, the power of positive thinking, right? And there's there's all kinds of information about the power of positive thinking. But really, that's a biblical principle. And it's not right. just about thinking positive. Right. It's about putting our mind on godly things. Right. It's not about like, oh, I'm just going to be a positive person and just put my head in the sand and not think that anything goes wrong. No, we're not saying that. Especially, you know, me, I'm, right. I'm more of a realist sometimes. I'm like, no, this is what's happening, you know? But it's okay to still put our mind... On what uh, God is doing. Yes. And what God has given you the ability to do. Yeah. And, and giving him glory for that, right? Um, it says, uh, Philippians 4, verse 8 says, Finally, uh, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any moral excellence, and if there is anything worth praise, dwell on these things. Mm -hmm. um, another, uh, my New King James Version says, meditate on these things, right? We want to pause and think about all the good things that God has provided us, not just with, but the ability to do. Um, and that includes the ability to create, the ability to invent, the ability um, to expand just what he has given us and to, to venture out into kind of the new areas of life and, and, and be able to praise God for those things. And we just want to share with you a, a little a journal entry yeah. we have of all the, the things that this is, and more, there's even more that's happened that's even on here. Um, yeah. Um, and like like you were saying, the reason that we shared that verse is because we want to challenge you guys that between now and next Wednesday or Tuesday, if you're not going to be coming and joining us on Wednesday, you'll join us live on Tuesday. That's great. Yeah. Um, to think and to write down, as you said before, of those good things, because we understand that a lot of bad also happened. We understand that even you guys as different family units, some of you experienced extreme struggle in this time. Some of you less, some of you heartache, some of you, it was a, a big um oh yeah oh, it's, it's been it has truly been the year 2020 <laughs> it's been crazy and yeah. but no matter who you are i mean i've talked to some of you you 
you yourself actually either had the virus or a family member or um, financial t hard times came and so many of you that had those really rough circumstances you all had such beautiful attitudes mm. and we're so and proud of you for that I was inspired by it honestly um, and that is right there the ability to say this does stink this is hard but this is what God brought through it. This is how God helped me. This is something cool that happened during this past season of time. Here's how I grew. Here's how I learned, um, despite all of this craziness. And the point of Philippians 4, 8, like we said, is not to um, pretend like the bad stuff isn't there, but it's to focus on the good God does and the fun things, you know? So we just wrote down a list. Some of it totally has to do with God's stuff. Others of it's just fun, practical things. And that's like, okay. Top one, we read more. That might not sound fun to you. But that's not unspiritual. <laughs> yeah, we just read more. We just had time to read more. Um, we discovered beautiful new trails literally across the street from our house. Like we're pointing at them right now. Yeah, like we have woods, and we thought they were just woods. And he's lived here like since he was three. I was here a while. And there are beautiful trails back there. It was like it was like Narnia. It was on the other side of the road, and we didn't know it. I was like, what? <laughs> Except you have to cross a river to get there. Well, But we yeah. found them all the same. But we found them. And that was just really cool. And I don't know if we would have had the time to, like, say, no, oh, let's just go not. take a walk, you know? Um, I found my old keyboard from my old, from my parents' house, and I brought it here in my current home because I, I have a desire to learn it again. I don't think I would have spent the time to do that if we weren't quarantined, to be very honest. Um, you ran long distances a lot more. I did. More. I'm back to running long distances. I actually just ran 4.7 miles yesterday. Yeah, and that was really good for you. Um, we just sat out in our yard. I know that sounds weird, but like when you're working all the time, you don't always have the chance to do that. And we oh. did that. And we did work a lot. We worked yeah. from home. And it was actually a lot of counseling and a lot of just work. But it was a slower pace, you know? Speaking of which, we just want to take this time, take an intermittent moment here, to tell you that, you know, we've, we've kept you guys informed as to the turkeys. Oh, yeah. In our yard. Guys, let me tell you. My goodness. Okay, for one, there's four of them. Hi, Renee. Okay, that we've, we've seen right now, right? There's four of them. There's two males and two females, and they hang out, and they're friends, right? And the two male turkeys just hang out, and they like to, to just you know, each other. wander just around chill. together, and, you know. But the females, one of the females has had chicks, yeah. They had little chicks. We have little, we have little, Six I call them, them, I call them the chicklets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, we've named them, what have we named them? Rinky, Dinky, Slinky, Pinky, and George. And I guess there's a sixth one. There's a sixth one. I forget, I don't, know. don't ask us to know which one's which. I don't know. This is what happens Hashtag when you're in quarantine quad, for a long time. Turkey quad. Yeah, this is what happens when you're in quarantine. Squad. I can't say it. So yeah, that's something. In the beginning of this quarantine, we told you we had turkeys, and by we the end of it, have, there are chicks. And, so. and our groundhog, Wilbur, yeah. has either a friend or a child. We, we can't we figure can't out tell. which. <laughs> so that's fun. So um, we're just keeping you informed. Hey, you know. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's actually a lot. Like, you can see me turning the page. There's just a lot of cool stuff and that God did. And that doesn't mean that times weren't hard. That doesn't mean that this past season wasn't trying. But when you focus on the good stuff where we grew, I learned to rest more, guys. I mean, I learned to just, it's okay to sit still and to not have something going on the screens or on in my ears. Or it's, just, it's okay to chill, you know? Um, I learned that a little bit more this past time. So some of that might sound stupid right. to you. But it's not. And that's not unspiritual, right? right? To learn to rest is not unspiritual. To, to paint, to be creative, that's not unspiritual. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, because God created us to be, created us to be creative people. That's um, right. And some of us have more of that than others. That's okay. I am not talented in, in drawing or painting. But, but we, we did we paint. even painted together, you yeah, know? And, we painted. And it's not going to go up in a museum, you know? <laughs> but hey, it's, it's, it, I did it. And that was fun. And that's not unspiritual. You know, God created us to, to do these things. That's right. It says, they say it's the turkey's property now, and then it's hashtag Team George. Yes. Oh, hashtag Team George. So he's actually the littlest one, and he, and he just goes For the record, there. this means that we're going to have turkeys perpetually now. Like We are this not is... catching George Jeffrey, and we are not using him for turkey bowl. That's not <laughs> happening. Can you imagine? No. We have George with us. No. I mean, I love... I love turkey, don't get me wrong. I love meat. I feel like, I, we, I feel like, I feel like not whichever one George would be would probably end up being a girl and we would have like no, that, I, no, that I up think, moment of George is a girl? No, I think Jeff is saying he wants to eat George. We're not going to get into this right now. No, no, no. Anyway, put him in a stroller. <laughs> I just think he'd be, he would make a great mascot. 
we, well, we have done in, that. We have done put that. A, put him in a little striped shirt as a ref. That would be cute. That would be awesome. Well, let's see how Jeff, we'll see how George grows. We'll see how George grows. Yeah. Anyway, so pick out the good things, guys. The yeah. fun things. If you had a fun moment with your family, if you had a fun moment with your siblings, um, if you had a bad moment with your siblings, don't write that down. Um, if you had just an experience with the Lord, if you started reading a portion of the Bible you never got to read, yeah. Um, anything where you're we like, wanna, we want to hear happened. about it. And it's also good to reflect. Mm -hmm. um, what's that phrase? Yeah. The, you know, people say that the best life experience, uh, the best experience is life experience, and we disagree. The best experience is evaluated life experience, because you can have all kinds of life experiences and ultimately learn nothing, mm -hmm. you know? We need to pause and reflect on those experiences. We need to pause and reflect on what's happened to us and, and the things that we've done and, and what we want to do. Yeah, like, did you ever know somebody who's gone through a lot in their life, and maybe they still don't have, like, a great attitude and... Maybe they still don't really act like they have like this wisdom about life. And sometimes you go, wow, you've gone through so much. I would, not that you're trying to judge them, but you're like, oh, I just, you don't carry that wisdom other people in your maybe scenario have carried. And that's not judging or anything. But what I'm saying is that just simply means that that person, who's probably an awesome person, just, it's one thing to go through things. It's another thing to say, okay, how can this thing make me better? And when you have the Lord, all the more so, when you say, okay, how could the Lord shape me better through this scenario? Um, so that's what we want to do. Guys, we're, we're always going to have this time to look back on. Um, it's not even completely over yet. We're still just easing back into life. But one day, like, you got kids and grandkids years from now, you're going to be able to say, this is what it was. Do you want to tell them that you had a horrible attitude through it? Or do you want to tell them, hey, here's what I learned through yeah. it? You and know what can, I mean? This, this season, we can allow it to end and only be a bad memory. Or we can make the tough times in the season positive by saying, this is what I pulled out of it. Yeah, and, and we've been talking to you that, about that for weeks now. And absolutely. for any reason you feel like you didn't hit that mark or you didn't grow or you didn't really grab you know, grab the season um, and maybe you were genuinely depressed or lonely, completely understandable. Just know absolutely. you don't have to be ashamed of that and that God's still got good things for you now. That's right. And, and again, the Bible says, he says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. To get, plans to give you a hope and a future. Amen to that. And as you're saying that beautiful verse, Holly says in quotation marks, when I was your age, sitting outside was illegal. <laughs> 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 yeah, Holly. Our grandkids are going to be like, Grandma has some weird stories. <laughs> Apparently there, were no to there was no toilet paper. <laughs> that is true. We are all we are all now, like, we're going to be those people. Like, when I was growing up, I remember that the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. <laughs> um, so that's Holly with her amazing testimony. I miss, I miss Holly. I can see Holly, like, how she Holly, if you Holly, if you ever go on to be, like, an amazing multimillionaire because you're a comedian, like, just remember us. Holly legit has the chops to be... She has the... 100%. She has the... Like, she can be a, she can be a stand-up comic. Um, anywho, so, listen, guys. We are just really, really um, excited for this new season and again it's still a slow right it's supposed to be a slow returning and it doesn't all even have to look exactly the same as when we left um the point is god has good things for us now that's right he does and he and and you know take hold of not just the things that you've done but plan for the things you want to keep i just realized olivia joined hi olivia hey good to see you what's up Love you, girl. We're glad that Me you're too. here. You should go back and watch this when we're done, and I'm glad you're here. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pop over to YouTube and see it when it gets yeah. uploaded. Hopefully later tonight. Yeah, well, and it also gets uploaded to here, too, um, in the IG. TV. That's right. That's right. So, and then there's one last thing. Mm -hmm. Did you want me to share? Yeah, um, We, since we've been telling you guys, hey, grow and learn, and whatever those things are that you end up writing down, even if it's one thing, right? Ask yourself, God, is there anything I can use or any lesson that I learned that I could help others with now? Mm. Like as we come back to Cutting Edge and if you share it or if you share with friends, how can you help grow others in the future? How can you um, say, hey, I, I, learned in, I learned this and with this I want God to use me in it. I know some of you learned an instrument. I know some of you started painting more. God wants to use all of that for his glory and to bring other people joy. Don't just hide those talents. If it wasn't a talent-related thing and you just simply learned something about like your character in the Lord, all the more so, how, do you, how can you help and encourage others? Um, we're just excited to see what God's going to do. That's right. And so we are proud of you guys. We're proud of uh, 
so many of you just have had just the, the best attitudes through the situation, through the time here. Um, we're proud of you, and we're excited for where we're all going together. Yeah. And we are excited because we know the Lord is good. Like, Jesus is good. That's right. And, and God is good. Melly just said, it will be better because we were forced to stop and rest so we can appreciate all he has given us. That's, That's right. right. That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And um, it has, you know, it's, it's been a crazy season. We wouldn't repeat it, obviously. It's been a, a rough time for our world. Um, but we're thankful that we could always learn from it and pull good out of it because God is good. No matter what, God is good. No Even matter in what. this craziness, God is still mm -hmm. good. He is. So we love you guys very, very, very much. And um, like I said before, um, if you missed the announcement we um, that we said earlier, go back and watch. But we are going to be able to meet again outside, staying outside, um, from uh, starting next Wednesday, July 1st. And we will give you the details and the logistics of what is allowed and not allowed um, as we learned them. It is Things have been changing. Right. Um, it's by the day. So sometimes. we have to know what it is before we just tell you but we, we to, are yeah. able to meet outside and we will be meeting outside and we're very excited we and, very excited. and if you are uncomfortable once again or if your parent is uncomfortable please honor them honor mm -hmm. them i cannot stress that enough parents if you're in the earshot of my voice i am telling them to honor you okay <laughs> <laughs> um because that's what the bible says to do and we honor you we right. honor where you're at comfortability wise mm -hmm. we honor that and that's totally okay like this we there is coming a day where we're going to be back to a, a, the new normal that we're going to be back inside and, and eventually yeah there's coming a day where that's going to happen yeah so and don't so, so don't panic about it don't and, be nervous and so just know that we are we are excited and and we are still going to go live on tuesday nights um and you can all join us and whether you come or not just join us on tuesdays and if you've started joining us and you're um just in this time of quarantine come on out um on wednesdays i know some students have joined us during this time for the first time we hope to see you we hope to see you live um okay so let's see Olivia, if you guys could pray for the protest. Yeah, uh, there is a lot going on in the world right now, and um, I do agree with that. And we should end today with just praying, continue mm -hmm. for like just the unrest that has continued to be in our country. You guys know we spoke a few weeks ago when everything really hit the fan with that about um, how God wants our heart to be towards that. If you missed that, go back and watch it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Just as That'll be on YouTube for sure. Yeah, it already is. Um, it just says God does want our hearts to be um, just praying for what's going on in our nation right now and to be people of love and to be people who seek justice and love mercy and walk humbly with him. Um, so we, we will pray for that as That's we right. pray for all of us at the end of the time. Yeah, absolutely. And I just want to, I just want to remind you guys, Hey, listen, again, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any moral excellence. And if there's anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Mm. Let's dwell on these things. That's yes. that's powerful. God wouldn't have put it in there if it wasn't important, if it wouldn't make a difference. And I know just, I, I've shared this a lot. Um, this is just because it made such an impression on me, but I want to share it just again. You know, part of the power, there's such power in that because um, when I went skydiving, I'll never forget that over this big open field, they said, listen, and, and I was getting like training so I could do it by myself. You know, I wasn't with somebody. I wanted to be alone because that was me. And I was, I was like that, you know, so... Um, I got my license to jump on my own and I remember the thing they said they said in this entire big field listen they said you have to look at the bullseye on the ground because you're gonna see this barn over there in the corner of the field that looks like a, it's a million miles away it was a red barn and a red barn he said I can't tell you how many people have landed near and one person landed on the red barn because they stared at the red barn and said I don't want to hit that mm. and so they they went to where they were looking at you know yes. put your mind on the things that God has put in your path that are positive that are good so that we can head towards those things. That are you, healthy. You will hit what you stare at. So put God and what God has provided and God's his His blessings in front of you yeah. so we can walk in those things and we can help others to walk in those things because yeah. the world might be in chaos, but Jesus is still the answer. And he's still good and he still wants to bring peace and justice and joy and rest. He is still a good God and he has good plans for you. That's right. So, so want me to pray really quick? Yeah, let's pray. Or do you want to pray? Let, go ahead, you pray. Okay. Well, Lord, we thank you for um, this time. And Lord, we have done this for 15 weeks together yes. as a Cutting Edge family. And some of um, our students' families have been able to join us. And we're excited to continue that on Tuesdays now. Um, hoping everyone continues to tune in and be together in this capacity. But we thank you, Lord, 
for the ability of us being able to meet again in person outside starting next Wednesday. And for anyone who's able to join us for that, pray that you bless them. And anyone who's not able to join us for any reason that you bless them too, because God, um, you still have good things for all of us. And as it's a slow moving process and different levels of comfortability and different regulations and things, um, it's all kind of uncertain and unknown, but Lord, we know that you're with us. You haven't left us. You haven't let us down yet. Um, you're not going to. Mm -hmm. So God, we thank you for that. And for the continued unrest in our country, Lord, as we talked about a few weeks back, Lord, we do seek your face. Prayer is not just a cheap token thing. God, we believe and trust, God, that you are good and that you are loving. Lord, teach us how to be loving. Yes. Teach us um, how to love you and how to love people, God. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we do pray for your continued protection and safety and peace yes. over our nation, Father God. And Lord, we thank you for every person who's watching tonight or tomorrow or the next day, whenever yes. they watch this as it's recorded. I um, pray that you bless them and their families, God, um, as we um, try to enjoy mm -hmm. summer, even though yes. summer obviously looks very different. Um, we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hi, Annette. You just joined. Hey, we you love just you. popped on. We're... Make sure you go back and watch Annette. We love you so much. So listen, guys. Hang tight. We will send you the details. Do when t the moment we know them, we'll let you know. But as of right now, we're doing a fire pit. Jamel's going to be doing some worship. We're going to play a game. We're going to have a devotional we're gonna be time, together. prayer, <laughs> um, and we will let you know the specifics as we know them. That's right. Keep in watch out for your email. We'll be sending out an email. We're going to send out a text. We're going to be putting it on social media. We're going to have people texting each other. You're going to know. Okay, so yeah. just hang tight. And okay. go ahead and tag us at uh, CE Youth. Um, with your lists, if you care to put them on social media, let yes. us see how it's been going because we we want to celebrate with you all the good things that are happening. Yeah, so in your life. make sure you have that list for Tuesday if yep. you come live, or next Wednesday when you come. Because that's so awesome. And even if you come Wednesday, join us again live on Tuesday. Yeah. All right, we love you all. Yep. We uh we're gonna be heading off, so we're gonna have a we're gonna go on a bike ride. We, we're gonna go, but while the sun's still out, that's we're gonna go on a nice bike ride. Yeah, we that's something that else day. that um. We started. We started bike riding. In That's this right. Season. That's cool, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We love you all. We love you all. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.